Brian Davis, Home Improved Man. Uh, so every now and then, of course, we run across a situation where we have floor that steps up or steps down by the smallest amount, and we are uh, have to deal with a situation of what to do about the door trim. So I'm going to show you two different solutions. I got a transition that's uh, about three quarters of an inch, a little bit less. Uh, from this floor, the epoxy flooring up to the uh, hardwood. And I have two different approaches to it. Um, and as you see, I've got two different approaches because I've got two different types of uh, baseboard. Uh, on here on the, the one side, I've got the white painted baseboard that goes all the way around. And so I was able to continue it on down into uh, the, the epoxy floor area. And this transition is pretty simple, uh, clean, effective. Uh, it requires a few angled cuts, uh, but once you cut those angles, um, it, it's, it comes together in a straightforward manner. Uh, rather than giving a tutorial on how to do those cuts, I'm going to put a link in the description of this video uh, to someone else that does a really good job of describing how to make this this transition happen. He, he puts that the uh, video I'll show, he, he puts it through, puts it together on a corner, but of course it applies the same. Now here on the other side, my baseboard changes. So I've got this darker baseboard on the flooring and then I transition to this white, ba white baseboard that goes around. And so what I did is I took a one by, I think it was a one by six, and I cut it down. I cut a small angle on it at the top. And I used it to create the transition. I cut it around the, uh, the, the foot, the, the flooring, as it goes down, and then I painted one side white to match the, uh, the, the trim on the one side, and the rest of it is stained the same color as the baseboard on the other side. And, you know, it's nothing fancy, but I think it creates a decent uh, transition. And one of the things that's important with you when you have these uh, pieces is that if you try and match it exactly, you almost never will. And so better to create a transition where it's obviously uh, not intended to match exactly. And so that is why I did what I did. I guess if I had the time and if I had the skill, I could have cut a piece of uh, um, baseboard to meet it, to, to match the top and then bump the other one into it. But I felt like this was a pretty reasonable solution uh, to my problem. Hope you find this video helpful and I hope uh, you uh, continue doing your home improvement projects because um, they're fun and I hope you find success with, some success with them. Thanks.